Welcome back to Open, BronxNet's interactive morning show. I'm your host, Nicholas Boston. The 2008 presidential campaign seems to be loaded with issues and questions, as always. And right now, a big question is, who will be the next president? Of course, no one knows. But here to discuss the campaigns and the candidates are political experts, political science professor Mariah Starr. And joining us on the phone is Armin Meyer. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Pleased to be here. Great to see you. Now, tell me, what, who is your pick uh, for Democratic frontrunner, Democratic uh, ticket holder? I would choose Barack Obama, senator from Illinois. Armin, are you with us? OK. Now, tell me why, uh, Mariah, what, what are your reasons for choosing Senator Obama? Um, three basic reasons. First, the presidency has relationships with three institutions, the executive branch, the Congress, and the American people. The executive branch requires intelligence. The Congress requires experience. And the American people require personality, charisma. Barack Obama has all three. And how would you say, uh, one would think that you know, front-running candidates or prominent candidates will, by virtue of being in the position that they are, have those three uh, characteristics. How does Senator Obama sort of like, you know, go ahead of the pack, in a, in a sense, ahead of, say, for instance, Hillary Clinton? Well, Obama makes up for lack of experience in the United States Senate with experience as an organizer, a community organizer in Illinois. He also has a great deal of charisma. People like him. They like to see him on television. They like to see him giving speeches. So he has automatic clout when it comes to passing legislation. Uh -huh. And We actually have um, Armin Meyer on the phone oh. from D.C. And uh, Armin, welcome to Open. How are you? I'm well. Thank you for having me. Great. Um, who is your pick uh, for Democratic uh, candidate uh, in 2008? You know, it is, uh, if I'm a Democrat this year, I'm pretty pleased with my pick of options. Uh, Obama certainly is an attractive candidate who is extremely likable and you know is a smart guy who has great experiences. Um, obviously, similar things with John Edwards. Um, I think, though, if you're a Democrat, you get the greatness that Edwards and Obama brings to the table and Hillary Clinton as well, plus just the years and years of experience. Um, whether it's obviously as uh, first lady, obviously a senator, I mean, just years of federal government experience, in addition to, you know, being a, a voice of hope and change similar to Barack. So, so your vote goes with, uh, with the Clinton ticket? Sorry, say one more time? Your vote goes with Clinton, or, you, or your, 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 your pick? Uh, my pick is certainly Hillary Clinton. Okay. Um, I'm, I'm going to throw, throw it back uh, here to the studio with Mariah. I'm going to ask you, Mariah, um, in terms of the Republican ticket, who would, you, who would you choose? I believe the best candidate is former Massachusetts Governor Mitt Romney. Mitt Romney. We're going to get back to you on your choice. Okay. Um, Armin, uh, for Republican, who do you choose? I think if I'm a Republican, I like John McCain. McCain. Now, uh, gentlemen, uh, Mariah, first, can you tell me why do you... Why have you chosen uh, Mitt Romney, former well, governor of, of Massachusetts? On the three factors that I mentioned, um, intelligence, experience, and charisma, um, Romney has lots of charisma. He has lots of experience managing organizations. He was the president of Bain and Company, um, as well as the president of the Salt Lake City Olympic Committee. So he has experience transforming organizations from deficit to profit. Um, as far as his uh, management abilities and experience, he transformed a liberal state, Massachusetts, into a for-profit state. He managed universal health care. He managed to he's, he's transform the entire lot. economy. Yes. Yeah. Uh, political strategist Armin Meyer, uh, your, your pick was uh, McCain. Can you explain your decision for us, please? Absolutely. Um, I fully agree with the fact that Mariah is setting out, and I think you have to put a little bit of a premium on experience now, given where we're at in the world, given the war in Iraq, obviously. And I think with McCain's long experience in the Senate on national and international issues, that does very much trump from a substantive perspective. 
that of a Mitt Romney or I, I think certainly a Rudy Giuliani, although he's attractive in many ways himself. Um, yeah. Now, um, Mariah, I, I want to bring it back to the question of religion and mm -hmm. politics, and that's something that's really central to the Romney run. Of course. Can you weigh in on that a little bit? Yes. Um, Mitt Romney faced the same challenge as Massachusetts Senator John Kennedy in 1960, a Catholic senator running for president. Now Mitt Romney, a Mormon governor running for president. And he has managed to take the same solution. My religion is not the issue. My management is the issue. My experience is the issue. My identification with core conservative values is the issue. And people agree with him on that. They say, we don't care if you're a Mormon. We care that you will do a good job. Armin uh, McCain, uh, this is his, you know, uh, he's, he's, you know, running again, um, essentially. Uh, can you talk about his political history, his successes in the past, his failures in the past, and uh, how we're supposed to take this candidate who's on a second, third run? He certainly, especially on the issue of religion, we can start there, did make a mistake, I think, shifting to the right in this McCain 2.0. Um, it's not something he has credibility on. It's something he thought he needed to do. But I think fundamentally, though, the John McCain of today is still the John McCain of 2000 and prior years. He's still a straight stop talker. And some of the ways to kind of prove that are he's been willing to box the party line and do what he thinks is right on issues like illegal immigration. It wasn't easy for him as a primary candidate to be with McCain-Kennedy on a bill. Uh, campaign finance reform. I mean, every Republican, Mitch McConnell leading the charge, hated mccain Gold. Yet, he stuck to his guns on that. Um, okay. And on tax cuts, he's been with, he's been with I, the I'm, I'm going I'm to ask you, Armin, to, to hold off on that for one second. We have to take a quick break. But when we return, meet a Bronx organization. We're going to reconnect with you guys later on in the show. But as, uh, when we come back from the break, uh, we're going to meet a Bronx organization that's increasing AIDS awareness in the Bronx and overseas. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. <laughs> 